some of you may have seen these uh, drawings by Odd Nerdrum where he first has toned down the paper. And I will show you quickly one technique of doing that. And uh, you can work with different colors uh, different to achieve different effects, of course. Now, a classic thing to do, of course, is to start with some red chalk. And I have used some sandpaper and just sanded some, some uh, chalk there. And I can use that to tone it down. Of course, you can just sand directly on the paper as well. So those are not very important things, but this is where you, how you see you get that nice fog. And so I just use some toilet paper and I get that, that softness there. So what I like to do is at least to work it a bit more into the paper so it's not too, it's not too uh, opaque. And then you get a little bit more air, so to speak. So the thing to remember also is that you, when you work in this technique, you don't really want to go too dark either because it becomes too opaque and sort of rests on top of the paper instead of being a part of this, this atmosphere. Okay, so you can quite simply work in that. Use some uh, kneaded eraser, continue with the red chalk to go lighter and darker in that. But you can also, if you want to be more painterly, so to speak, you can use some, uh, some um, lead, some pencil. And you can make yourself some, uh, some uh, chalk, some powder, I mean, like that. And you can go in, let's see here now, carefully, at least around the corners, which gives you a slightly cool tone, so that you have both the warm and the cool tones, which enables you to paint more, work with colors. Now this is just a question of how dark you want to go. You can really go, go into it like this. Depends on where you want the focus to go. Let's see here. So now you have that contrast between the cool and the warm, and you can exploit that with the cooler tones in the shadow and the warmer tones in the, in the lights. So you can just go in with your kneaded eraser, start picking up, and then apply more shadow with perhaps like this. And actually, if you draw with the paper, you really don't get too detailed, and you can keep an open uh, drawing until you have everything clear and you start adding detail. Thank you for checking out this video from the School of Apelles. Go to caveofapelles.com slash subscribe and access our premium library. That's caveofapelles.com slash subscribe.